Welcome to Revival Time Hub, the fire shall ever be burning upon the altar, it shall never go out. Jeremiah 29 13, let's hurry up. Your zeal for God and your passion for God is really what Satan wants to steal. And ye shall seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. With all your heart. Second Chronicles chapter 15 from verse 12. When you read down to 15, they enter the covenant, the Bible says, to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all their heart. Take note, with all their heart and with all their soul. Verse 13. And the Bible says that whosoever should not seek the God of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. 14. We're reading to 15. And they swear with a loud voice and with shouting, with tumbrels and comets. Verse 15. All Judah rejoiced at the oath. They bound themselves with an oath. And they swore with their heart. And the Bible says they sought him with their whole desire. And he was found of them. And the Lord gave them rest round about. Say that after me. Rest round about. One more time. Rest about. Say it like you are receiving it. Rest round about connected so when satan steals your passion he stole your rest he didn't just steal your passion for god he didn't just steal your passion for the house of god he stole your possibility for entering into rest round about are we learning this is very powerful satan steals passion zeal for god you will find somebody who loves God with all his heart and something begins to happen around his life and the spiritual fire starts going down. The thief, the thief has arrived. Stealing your passion for the things of God. Stealing your passion for prayer. Your passion for the word of God. And initially it will not look like it's anything serious until it starts going down. And you will see it that everything has gone down. The thief has come. He's not interested in your money. While he's stealing your passion, your money can be growing. So you will think you are making progress. Satan would rather you be getting promotion than your passion for Jesus increases. Let me tell you, Satan does not allow everything in your life to go down at once. It will be too obvious. You will cry for repentance and you will run to God. So he will touch the most serious one and allow you to be distracted by the mundane things. As at the time your spiritual life is going down, your soul is dying, promotion is happening increase is happening so you can be beguiled to think you are all right and then by the time he extracts your passion he can leave you to be enjoying the job you will die naturally like a clock without a battery hmm. what's that my song again we honor you we honor you we honor you and your passion. We honor you, we honor you, we honor you, Lord. We honor you, we honor you, we honor you, Lord. When the Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence, he means guard your passion and your zeal. It is better to lose money it is better to lose a job, I know you will not believe it, than to lose your hunger and your passion. When he says guard it, it means walk like a vigilante. Don't be carried away by the flamboyancy that happens. Before you clap for yourself, check. My heart, is my passion still there like a treasure? If it is there, then you can rejoice over every other thing. Because no matter what you lose, if Satan cannot steal your hunger, if Satan cannot steal your passion, if Satan cannot steal your zeal, then whatever he's told is only wasting his time. It will return. Are we together? For some of you here, Satan gave you promotion but stole your hunger. What shall it profit a man if he gains and loses? Who is the businessman that does that kind of transaction? It is Satan, not the bank. Satan does not just take, he gives. There are times he takes from you by giving. 
he presents something to you so you will drop what you have in your own hand not knowing its value while you are collecting things of lesser value you drop a treasure and he picks it we honor you we honor you we honor you we honor you we hear me champions are made in the spirit champions are made in the kingdom when they vow to protect their hunger they guard it like a military man have you seen an ADC or an orderly somebody who is really committed to his superior it's like they have an oath my life for your life that you say Satan no matter what you touch you can touch my job but not my hunger. Some of you need to return back this week. We're dealing with matters of the kingdom. And say, Lord, restore my hunger. I've been praying about job, but Lord, I want a job. But now I found out that in the process of being deceived by Satan, I didn't know when I dropped my hunger like a treasure and I'm now pursuing ministry. I want a congregation. I want influence. I want a good name. I want social media likes and follows. And in pursuit of those things, you throw away your hunger. We honor you we honor you we honor you lord we honor you we oh i will give you a job but the condition is you will never call upon the name of the lord again you say but i'm desperate yes i agree i agree i agree oh beautiful so here is the job. Your basic pay is 1 million naira per month. 2 million naira per month. But you will never have time to pray again. You will never have time to fast again. And you will never have time to join anybody again. Anything that has to do with God. And he said, but at least it's better. In two months, they give you a house. They give you a car. Just when you want to turn back and say, God, but I've missed you so much, they promote you again. And everybody says, ah, but life is good with you. And then you die like a fan with no light. One day you just stop. And where you stop is where you remain. In one day like Job, everything you call treasure will fall like a pack of cards. And the thief looks at you and says, credit to me. I pursued you for 10 years. Finally, I've gotten you. I didn't do it in one day. I stole away your passion layer after layer. I started that journey in 2009. I've ended it successfully after 20 years. Signed, the thief. Don't think this thief steals just in two hours and runs away. He can steal years. He steals years 10 minutes per day. 10 minutes per day you won't see what he's stealing until you look at your life and out of 20 years you've only lived two years who is learning your passion for God let me hurry up number two what does Satan steal as a thief your spiritual understanding your capacity to comprehend spiritual things Second to your passion, the next thing Satan really wants from you is your capacity to understand spiritual things. Oh, he will pursue it. He will pursue it with every zeal. Satan will rather stop attacking a million people and look for one person if he can find your spiritual understanding. Galatians 4 and verse 1 says, An heir for as long as that heir is a child. He differeth not from a servant, even though he be Lord of all. For as long as he is bankrupt of spiritual understanding. Let me tell you this. If Satan tries to stop you from being saved and it does not work, then his next assignment will be to frustrate your journey towards growth as a thief. To make sure you will never have access to a house, a man of God, materials that make for your growth. Since he cannot undo again, 
You are now saved. But you will make your life so inefficient, you will not see the benefit of salvation. Spiritual understanding. Keep a billion naira. Keep your promotion. Keep your health. Keep your marriage. Keep your children. Keep your spiritual understanding. Tell Satan, choose one. He, without premeditation, he will move immediately to your spiritual understanding. Let me tell you what happens. As he drags your understanding, everything he did not carry will follow him too. The man has an advantage of knowledge. He knows that your health, your family, everything is powered by your spiritual understanding. It will be stupid for Satan to come and just touch your finances. It's a waste of time. That's why most armed robbers, when they come, unfortunately, so sad, may God deliver all of them. And if they don't repent, may God punish them. Let me use the opportunity and pray that prayer now. If you are an armed robber anywhere around the world hearing the sound of my voice, as I make the altar call, tonight is a night of salvation for you. Yeah. You cause pain and you steal, God will punish you certainly. Are we together? But everything is powered by your spiritual understanding. Remove understanding. Your marriage will fall like a pack of cards. Your business will fall like a pack of cards. Your leadership will fall like a pack of cards. Everything is powered by understanding. So when Satan fights your passion, the next thing he's looking for is your understanding. How do you know he's stealing now? By the decline in your zeal for the word. The decline in your zeal for materials. That is him. He doesn't come having a horn and say, I came to steal. He steals subtly. You didn't study the word for the last one week. It's not a problem. God is merciful. He will forgive me. That's the thief. He's stealing slow by slow. Until one day, the only time you open your Bible is on Sundays. There's progress. He's making progress. Until one day, you open your Bible only two times in a year. There's progress. Until one day you will say, no Bibles in this house again. There's progress. Until one day, you become what you never believed you will become. Then he will sign again, the thief. I first told your passion, and my next port of call was your spiritual understanding. Let me tell you one way he steals your spiritual understanding. He makes you offended in those who serve you wisdom. Did you hear what I said? He makes you offended in those who serve you wisdom. Whether it's a man of God, whether somebody who mentors you, you carry bitterness and anger and you don't want to listen to materials that build you again. The thief. It is a very effective strategy he has used. When Satan wants to destroy an individual, he fights like we do in our world today. He studies who you can run to when you are in trouble. Then he will make sure you have trouble with them. By the time you are alone, he now strikes you one day. And now you can't run to anybody because the doors are closed. And you find out that you just die naturally. You know that's how lions hunt? They isolate a prey out of the herd, maybe a gazelle or whatever it is. And then they just come and surround the individual. And you see sometimes the mothers watch from afar as they eat up their child. Make up your mind in this end time that offense must die. You can choose. I refuse. All these angered men of God around is an attack by Satan. Because he will close the door to your receiving spiritual understanding. And when that happens, he comes and steals. Who is learning? Make sure somebody hears this message from you. You can look at the person and say, the level of your anger towards your husband and your wife the level of your anger, this is an attack. Oh, this is not just the issue of I am annoyed. Satan is created, he has studied that grace flows through you to somebody else, and he will make something to cut off that flow of grace. Usually, it is dishonor, and once that happens, he pushes you aside. Then he will leave you, he won't strike immediately so that you are not you don't think that one morning you wake up like before and an attack comes. I forbid it over anyone here. In the name of Jesus Christ.